Okay, so UK Pro League. So yeah, if you look in the UK Pro League, guess who's playing? Kyle Edmund. Now, isn't that interesting? A few years ago, Kyle Edmund is uh, Australian Open semi-finalist. I think he only lost to Marion Cilic, didn't he? Marion Cilic. I don't, I'm not sure who he lost to. And now he's playing UK Pro League for like peanuts compared to what he's used to. Uh, peanuts um, prize money. PPM, peanuts prize money. Now, the UK Pro League, obviously, it's, it's exactly that. Designed for players over 16 who are professional tennis players or want to be professional tennis players. So they get a bit of money, which is amazing. Now, this, this is what I call really interesting, is that when he was at the top, when he was at the top, what program did he have? What was he working on? Now, I know he was working really hard. I know. But what was the periodization? What was the what was the training? What was the what was the split? What was the cluster? What was the um, what was the downtime? What was the uptime? What was the peak? And this is where I think they got him wrong because he was already managing managing an injury from poor standard of coaching when he was younger. So all these people who are getting who are raving about oh yeah I used to coach Kyle Edmund when he was younger I used to coach Kyle Edmund when he was younger really what they should be saying I destroyed Kyle Edmund when he was younger because I didn't give him any perspective to how to build as a young athlete into becoming uh, a tennis pro that's what they should be saying so any player who used to coach Kyle Edmund in one sense they made him good or great to get where we got. But in the other sense, there was no perspective in terms of building the player. And as a result, he, he um, and as a result, his body's failing him. Same thing with Laura Robson. Same thing with Johanna Conta. As soon as Johanna Conta started coming away away from having a sports psychologist and and all that type of stuff the thing that gave her perspective the thing that gave her understanding of what she was doing the tennis fell up her, her tennis the standard didn't fall apart what fell apart was her understanding of what she was doing and as a result she quit as soon as she got married and got well, as soon as she got married, she was going to get pregnant. There was no like case of getting married but staying focused towards her, her tennis goals or anything like that. As soon as she was married, she she as soon as she got married, she was going to get pregnant. And you know that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing at all because she's in her thirties. But for me, like I keep saying. That, um, yo, that, that Grand Slam that uh, Emma Raducanu won, Johanna Conta would have won because she was absolutely cheesed off for losing to, um, uh, for not playing at Wimbledon. So she was cheesed off because of that. And, um, she, um, you know, the COVID didn't let her play Wimbledon, which is a joke. One of her, one of her, one, someone in her team caught COVID. So she can't play. If she tests all right, she can't play. That's stupid. The mindset behind that is stupid. Do you get what I mean? I just don't get it. I just don't get it at all. But there's a lot of things in life I don't get, and that's one of them. So, um, so yeah, so... 
Kyle Edmund playing the, playing the UK Pro League is a real interesting concept. I find it fascinating. Um, but good luck to him. He's on the build. He's trying to build back his programme. So good luck to him. Uh, good luck to the players that play today. I'm going to be looking out. And good luck to the British players playing abroad. Um, right, so before I go, let me choose my player of the day. I'm getting to the 200s now. And I'm getting to names I don't know. Right. Let's switch on the trusty iPad. And let's find one name that I don't know. Come on. Oh, sugar. What? 10%? Where is it? Oh, um, can't find it now. There we go. Google, tabs, tennis for Britain. Right, we got to May Itchim, so we're at 200 now. So we're on page nine. Right, page nine, let's go for these names. Annie Watson, never heard of her. Oh, she, these are all young. Leontina Slovak. Right, so Amelie's played her. Hard workout. I'm sure she's gone for a scholarship. Um, Sophia Qu Quagrain. Jessica McLean. Mally Lloyd Evans. Blythe Brock. Kirsty De Silva. Emily's played her as well. Annabelle Bird. I recognise the name. Sophie Ryland. Anna McKnight. Artelia Tetley. Elena Askill Wally. Hope Wright. Sophie Supel. Ophelia, that's my daughter's name. Ophelia Korpanek Davis. I'm sure if Alicia Tejra, I've heard of her. I'm sure Emily's played her. Taksum Fung, Isabella Makuch. How bloody rude, someone driving across my daughter's garden. What? Um, Casey Moreau, Eddie Griffiths, Angela Cook, Margot. Someone else with my daughter's name. Spelled almost the same. Slade. Margot Slade. That'd be interesting to even get on the court and have a session. And see what she's like. 2004. Sophie Becker. Sophie Smith. Hetty Willis. Oh, that's the girl. Hetty Willis. Who I'm thinking of. Right, so I need to make a phone call about that. Sophie Smith, she's gone to USA. She definitely could have made it as a pro, but it was just wasted. Talent was wasted. Every inch of her talent was wasted. So my two girls today is Sophie Smith and Margot Slade. Margot Slade because same name as my daughter and um, she's from Devon. So what's the understanding of either she don't play anymore or... She only plays local county tennis in Devon. Or she's going for a scholarship. Or, I don't know, I'd love to speak to the parents of Margot Slade. A, because they've spelt Margot in a similar way to how I've spelt Margot, my daughter's name. And, obviously, I know the parents of Sophie Smith. I just don't think Sophie really wanted to be a tennis player. I just don't think that. I think she just followed in her sister's footsteps and... It just wasn't her, wasn't her goal. Even though she did a lot of it, she was never exposed to any good tennis anyway. Um, apart from when seeing her sister play, but then, you know, the 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 things that would have propelled her or made her really want it. I've only been on. I, I trained her in terms of fitness, but when I trained her actually on the tennis court, you could see she could be ten times better. Absolutely 10 times better. I really liked how she played. But, um, you know, yo, make sure you like the video. Press a like, thumbs up. Um, but Hetty Willis. So the two girls is Margot Slade and Hetty Willis. Listen, make sure you like and subscribe, guys. Thanks very much. Big day today. Long day. Lots to do. So I'll see you later. Bye.